like that doesn't mess up the backboard. Is that 10 feet? No, that's way, that's too high. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Inspire CNC YouTube channel. Today I have another video for you guys that is a little bit different, but it still has to do with design and using our CNC machines to make the parts. Uh, I need something else to uh, take my mind off of work every now and then. So I decided that I wanted to uh, bring in a, a basketball hoop inside the shop. There are many other options that I can do. I can buy the portable kind and just roll it in, roll it out. But I thought those are a little bit flimsy for my taste and I want it to be really portable. You know, I want it to be able to move it in the back alley or in the front and, you know, play basketball uh, whenever I want to. So I decided that I was going to make a forklift basketball hoop. I know that sounds strange and you've never seen something like this before, but I promise you it's going to, we're going to execute it well and it's going to turn out great. And my inspiration for this was um, I had some buddies over in the shop and we were doing a barbecue. I need to raise the height of the barbecue as well as we needed like a table or a platform to put uh, the meats or whatever we needed uh, to cook the barbecue. So I made this little forklift barbecue thing and here's a video of it. Yep, and that's the inspiration. So I was thinking, if I want a portable basketball hoop, why don't I design and make a mount uh, for the hoop to fit on the forklift? And then I could raise it however high I want. I could raise it however low I want. I can move it anywhere I want, and it will be super sturdy. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make the forklift basketball hoop happen. Uh, we're gonna use our CNC machines. We're gonna use the stock we have back here. We're gonna use our CAD software to design it. So let me show you guys the backboard and my plan on how I'm going to design it and machine it. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. We got the backboard. We're gonna design a, a mount that attaches to the frame of the backboard. And it's gonna have a base that slides into the forks on the forklift. And it's gonna tighten at the bottom with a bolt. And I'm also going to put bolts at the side so that it can squeeze in to the side of the fork as well. I have these brackets. I made these for my other CNC machine. And these go, these went on the corners to sort of reinforce the frame of the CNC machine. But I haven't been using it. And so something like this would be great for making the mount for the backboard. So this part is going to go something like this on both sides. This one is on this side, okay? So there's already two holes that we can go and mount the, the plates to. So now that we have these two plates attached to the backboard, I'm going to machine a crossbar that's going to attach to both of these plates and also have the slots inside where the forks of the forklift can go into. And again, we're going to bolt it, tighten it from the bottom and on the sides. Let's go ahead and get started on this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to face this off with a, a spiral pattern just so that it can look better instead of having this 6061T6 print on the side as well as the unprocessed finish that's on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the machine. We're going to surface it and it's gonna look nice and nifty. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I've never tried this before. Alrighty. And we're gonna close this down and put just a tiny I think 
that's solid. Let's put a nice surface finish on this. Something that will make her shine, stand out. All right, let's do it. Y'all ready? Cooling on. All right, let's get cracking. Got one plate done. Mm, check it out. Look at this. That's baby part, by the way. Oh no. Alrighty. Let's get a Let's go ahead and let's get our bolts in there and see how it really lines up. Alrighty. All right. How that look? How does that look? We got our bolt on the coming out the other side. Now that we got the plates done, let's do the the brace or the crossbar. Let's do that. First operation is done. We're gonna flip it over, remove the cap, chamfer the other side. We also have to put two holes here and thread them, as well as two holes on the side that will connect the two plates. But so far so good. Tell me what you think. Now that we have all of our pieces ready, we got our hardware, all of our parts machined, all that's left is the fun part, which is the assembly. And let's put it together. Let's see if it works on a forklift and uh, let's see if she torques. This one is for the left side. Perfect, we got, we got baby Bart on the right side. That's the, way, that's the best way to do it. This is gonna take, this is insufferable. All right, next one. Peep that, beautiful. Peep that. You gotta peep that. You got to. You gotta support the arts. See, I'm always busy building people's parts and doing parts for other people's project but once in a while I get to do my own I kind of I kind of get to do my own because I still have work to do today but it's nice to just chill and relax and 
do my own project. We got the two side plates on. They're looking very, very nice. And now it's time for the, the crossbar, which is the main attraction. Look at that. It got a little bit of grease on it, but we'll clean it up after. And this is just gonna go right in between the two plates. Damn, I don't wanna scratch this. Don't want to scratch for work. All right. Got the What a project, what a project. All right, we got the crossbar in and we just gotta put our two bolts from the bottom that's gonna clamp the forks. Bolt number one. You see how it's countersunk? So we could go beyond the thread. Look at that, look at, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, bolt number two. Let's get it upright, and I think we're gonna put on the rim. Oh, she's heavy, oh my, yeah. Oh my, don't, don't drop her now. Don't drop it. That's the last thing you wanna do right now is to drop it. We should get something to hold it up. Well, we could do that. I didn't design it to do that, but we'll do that too. Oh, this is where a second person is necessary. Because how will we reach in the back while we hold the rim up? Strange. Oh, I got it. I got the solution right here. You'd say I don't have solutions. I got solutions. That fuck me. All right, we're just about ready. We got the rim in, we got our assembly up. So all we have to do now is just put in the forks, lift it up, tighten it. And again, let's see how she twerks. Moment of truth, boys. Does it work? Does it not twerk? Make some spaces. Make some real space. Pressure. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Easy, easy. All the way to the backboard. So this is gonna push the fork up and it's gonna compress against the top surface there. So it's nice and rigid. Okay, I like it. I, I like I like it a lot. All right, let's raise it. This is that's the coolest thing I've ever did. That's bad fucking ass. 
My dreams have come true. Oh my God. Right on cue. A brand new bad boy. Whoa, boy. This. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. It's so rigid. files for the basketball hoop so that if you want to make uh, one for yourself you can or you can uh, make a different version but I'm gonna go ahead and add a link to the 3d files if you want to make your own forklift basketball hoop and uh, it's gonna be in the description just click on it and you can download three different versions of the file and uh, you can make yourself one and if you do send me a picture let me know but for now that's it uh, thanks for watching my videos and I'm going to work on doing some more projects. I think uh, the next project I'm doing is going to be an automotive project and it's not going to be uh, plug machining. It's going to be we're going to be doing something that requires fabrication outside of CNC machining. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I promise I will be back with some more cool shit. All right, let's go.